Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are back with another Winter Mini Zoo episode. And in the previous episode, we did create this Amur Leopard Habitat, which was really challenging. But I'm, I'm quite happy with the end result, even though it is still a little bit too tiny. But we're gonna wait and see how this is gonna go when these Amur Leopards... Ooh, look at you. Oh, we just missed that. When these Amur Leopards are hopefully going to get some offspring. Oh, now we can see that. Oh, you should lay down a little bit longer. Oh, okay. And there you go. Uh, what do we have right over here? We have an animal thirsty, a low welfare. We also have the Amur Leopard being hungry, but you are going to work on that right away. Gosh, it's been so long since I've seen any animal using this. I love that, actually. Are you going to jump again? There you go. Wow. <laughs> so that's so beautiful. I love that animation. It looks so natural and all these guests standing here. Are you going to do it again? There you go. Wow. Oh, that is so amazing. I do wonder, like, I can't remember. Is there like a piece of meat just falling down at some point? Oh, there you go. And now you can eat. Oh, that's just perfect. And it works very well because the keeper is able to reach this. So I don't really feel like we have to work on editing this uh, amount of space because they can't really walk here. But I don't really mind that. Now, the jumping and stuff is not going super natural. Ooh, wait, you know what? We actually maybe need to reset this one. I'm not really sure if they can reach it. Actually, a good point to keep in mind, because if the Amur Leopard is going to escape, it might be due to the fact that the Amur Leopard is playing with the box right over there. So maybe we need to move it. Man, they are so beautiful, I can't get over it. And I love it that they're actually using all these climbing frames that I added. Okay, we have an animal welfare being very, very, very low. Why is that? You... Oh! <gasps> they do not have water in here? <gasps> oh, goodness, did I really? Oh, no! Where am I going to put... Wait, they have water! What am I thinking? They should be able to drink this water. Is this water not covered? It is covered. So why would you not? You are dehydrated. You know, I am moving you, but I'm actually just going to put you in quarantine just to make sure that you will not be dehydrated. Wait, did you just cancel move? Okay, so we, we just fixed that. Protesters just go away. <laughs> There's nothing to see here. Oh, goodness. Okay, now we, uh, we, I, I think this all should be good and they should go away very soon because the welfare is now good. So I guess that was just a little bug. But this one is also thirsty. So if I just move you, are you going to be not thirsty anymore then? Because you are also going to attract any protesters in here, pretty sure. No? You are actually still, still thirsty. There is water here. Oh, wait. Oh, that's right. I did remove the water here. Just because I was able to make a blueprint for it. Oh, I'm so sorry, y'all. <laughs> You're almost dying. Due to the fact that I just wanted to make a blueprint. This should be good. They should be able to... Yes, this is reachable by the uh, water treatment, so this should all be good. I'm so sorry, little one. Can we just move? Oh, you are right away running to here to get some water. Oh, I love that. We still don't have any little ones in here, unfortunately. I really do hope. Was that like all? You are, okay. Well, if that was enough. But yeah, it's really a pity that we haven't seen any little ones still. I really, really would love to see them hopefully anytime soon now with free update 1.12 we did get guided tours as well now i feel like this zoo is probably still okay she's leaving as well it's still a little bit too small 
to add the tour in we can, because we don't really have that many animals. So I, I don't really think that we should add it, but maybe we should add it right away after uh, after we finish the zoo or almost. Why are you <laughs> escaping middle of the house hat? Stop doing that. <laughs> it's so frustrating. That research complete. That is really nice. Okay, we are researching the Amur leopard right now. We should look into our staff for a little bit because I actually saw another Japanese macaque. Oh gosh, yes, now they're escaping here. <laughs> it's a mess. It's a mess for sure. I have no idea why they keep escaping right over there. Come on, can you stop? Hello? Okay, wait. The alarm is gone. We have a vet urgently assigned. There is only one escaped, right? I think so. You know what? Maybe there are some rocks here that let them escape. If I just make sure that I add a few of these rocks here in the back, maybe this is going to help to not let them escape. Maybe this is just too thin or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> we have to wait and see about that. There is food on the floor here, so that is good. Okay, let's go back to our finances. Right now, this year's profit was 12,000. That's actually not bad. Our money is going up at this point. So I do feel like, wait a second, do we have, we already have grade three. I thought like maybe that was something that we could upgrade for the striped skunk to make sure that they maybe get some more offspring. Raccoon is doing pretty well. It's, it's, it's breeding like nuts. So I'm not really sure if we, need to it's like barely more money so you know what i'm just gonna do that i'm gonna do the same for the japanese macaque and i'm gonna do the same for the amur leopard right now this might cost us a lot more money than i think at this point but maybe is there any way oh no <laughs> let's not do that you are not happy if i do that uh training staff maybe i just want to train a few staff that only have one star at this point. Maybe also the two. Those are caretakers. We have a security guard and one mechanic. I think that is all right. Yes. Okay. Let's keep it like this and not train the highest ones uh, right now. Do we actually have animal talks? We do have one animal talk here at the Japanese macaque. Do we want to add one more maybe i mean we have one educator that is roaming around oh we have two educators even yeah oh then i feel like we should definitely just add one maybe two extra animal talking points at least for the time being until we have like yeah until we have the tour and we can like complete the tour and just add an animal talk so if we want to add the animal talk oh gosh that is snapping pretty closely oh wait we can actually put it a little bit further away can't we snapping through the fences here where do i like it the most here is just not possible how about here for now we're gonna replace it as soon as we have the animal talks so you are going to be a raccoon and we're going to add you in the work zone for the everything work roster i know a lot of people are asking me lately why i do the everything work roster all the time but for those of you that have not played the game since the start in 2019 with the beta like if you were playing franchise mode without the work rosters, you would be screwed. You're, you would fail, your animals would die, your staff wouldn't know where to go, and even, oh, look at these guys. And uh, uh, they would not feed your animals, so all your animals were dying. People, like players of the game, were complaining so much because they were failing and the game was broken, it was too hard. And it all turned out to be setting up the work rosters and setting it up the right way. So ever since I learned to make work rosters and it's so much in my system, but like Frontier did update the game a lot and, and changed a lot of things. So uh, yeah, apparently at this point you don't really need any work rosters anymore. But yeah, I'm just so used to it that I will just continue doing that, I guess. 
So um, yeah, that about all the uh, everything work rosters. So do we want to add another tog here at the skunk? Yeah, well, I, you know what? We're going to do a tour here anyways. So I feel like we're also going to do an animal talk here at the skunk habitat. So I'm also going to add this one in the same work zone. And do we want to have another one at the jaguars? We don't have one, but... Mm, we we could actually do that. We could maybe just squeeze it in somewhere over here so that it's not causing too many bottlenecks or something. So I'm more leopard. Now, the only thing that we need to do is change the months. So we're going to do that from the overview right over here. Add it in the work zone. And then we're going to go back here to the educational tab, animal togs. We need to change the names right over here. Also change the names of the habitat I see. But there are now, yes, no educators assigned. We need to make sure that all these months are not overlapping. So we're going to have raccoons in March. We're going to have May, July, and September. This should be good. Animal talk requires a staff member to be able to access this. this, this are these staff members not in the everything work roster? Yes, they are. This one is <laughs> a high workload. I feel so sorry for you already. But you need to be trained a lot more. All these... Oh, okay. They did not select. That is why it's not working. So now they should all be green. Yes. Okay. They are green. We have four animal talks now. So that should make our guests super happy because they will be uh, educated nicely. And then we have the educators roaming around. And yes, as I said, like at the end of this series, we are going to add one tour just around the whole zoo, I am uh, I'm guessing. It's not going to be a super big zoo, so I think we are going to be just fine. So for this episode, I want to add the European Badger, these cute little ones we are going to add in our zoo right over here. Now, as I said in the beginning, we are going to add a little bit of like festive things. So for this area, I actually want to have a little ice skating ring right over here. And then the habitat of the European badger will probably be somewhere over here. So, uh, yeah, we're going to... Um, I don't think I'm going to decorate it too much just yet, the ice skating ring. But then you know what is going to be placed right over here. But yeah, without further talking, let's just go and start building the European badger habitat.
I would love to show the new habitat, but this Amur leopard is about to get offspring, and I am, of course, very, very curious how many cubs he is going to get. I think it's only one, but that is. Ooh, okay, wait. Ooh. Oh gosh, okay, wait. The climbing frames need to be reset, so I'm just going to do this and then put this back. And now pause the game. Is this going to fix? Oh, phew! 89% for the cup. And okay, the space is a little tiny bit of an issue. But 84% is actually not bad. Hello, you little one. Oh, you're so cute. Look at these beautiful eyes. Oh, you're so adorable. What are you actually? A little male Roman. Oh, I love that name. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, I'm so happy actually that they only got one cup because that means that we are just about safe regarding space. So that is just super amazing. Yeah, I, I think you should have a little nap here because I can imagine giving birth is super exhausting. So, uh, oh wait, no, that is not where I wanted to go. I wanted to go here because there is a building right over there. Gosh, can it please stop raining? <laughs> this is just terrible. I'd rather see some snow than rain though. Anyways, uh, so this is going to be a little ice skating rink. There is going to be maybe like these uh, uh, little, little shops right over here with these little like market stands. Maybe just a little area where we're guests can uh, like rent their 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 ice I don't actually know how to call it where you can ice skate onto I don't know how they are called do let me know in the comments down below I only know in uh, in Dutch it's a it's a schatz <laughs> no try to say that it's a schatz <laughs> it's so weird to say something in Dutch while you're speaking English though do let me know in the comments down below what the translation is because I totally lost the English word for it so we have a, a bachelor habitat right over here. Now, I had some space issues when I was building this habitat, especially because of the uh, indoor section, which I, I added so many things in that it reduced the amount of space a lot. So I had to make it bigger and bigger along the way. And I was like, you know what? I just can't add too much in this habitat. But Realistically, if you look at Badger habitats in real life, like there are not that many pictures if you search on Google. But if you see some pictures, there's actually not that much in the habitat most of the time. So realistically, this is pretty accurate. Now, I, I have a hard time, I do have to admit that, with the winter the winter theme or like this this temperate taiga ish theme oh no well it's not really it, it's not really the the taiga tundra theme it's a temperate theme which we are using for a winter zoo i'm not enjoying like the foliage and stuff so much as i do with a tropical zoo so uh, i i am i'm happy with the end result but if you would ask me what i prefer i actually would enjoy a tropical zoo a lot more so i really can't wait to get back into a tropical zoo that being said i am happy with how this habitat has turned out don't get me wrong so we have a building right over here which is split off into two different sections right over here is going to be a different animal so this these guests right over here that are going to use the ice skating ring, ring well in like <laughs> in our imagination that is they are also going to enjoy the animals that will be right over here. But yeah, this habitat will be uh, made later on during this series. So for now, this is halfly finished. So let's go inside of here. Ta-da! This is the European badger area. As I, as you can tell, maybe like I started with like a bigger glass wall right over here, and along the way, it reduced a lot. I actually don't really know what this is, like a little backstage area. I thought like maybe I could like add like a cage or anything. And then I was like, oh, I, I just don't really know how that will look. And then I was like, you know what? Actually, no one is going to really see that. Well, you can have a little glimpse right over here. But other than that, the guests are supposed to look into this little habitat. Try to make it a little bit of the feeling that it's a little forest that we have going on right over here. 
But yeah, I really had to be, be careful with the amount of uh, uh, pieces that I added just to make sure that the traverse were area, like, like this is all useless space. Right over here, the animals cannot reach. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I did not set this up really properly. But I just really wanted to have this little burrow inside of this building. And yeah, in order to, to put this down, I just had to put it more in like the middle section. Now the keeper is not able to walk to the outdoor area, which is fine. That is why we are, oh, I'm happy to see that they are able to use that. Uh, but this is why I added like the food things inside of this building and not on the outside, just to make sure that the keeper, because the keeper is not able to reach the outside area. So I, I think other than that, it's going to be fine. Just look at this beautiful badger. Oh, they're so adorable. I actually have not chat. Oh, 98%. That's just amazing. And how about their chance of offspring is 100%. So that is just freaking amazing. I do want to check the uh, vet research right over here because, oh, okay, you are still research. Oh, we already have the European badger research. So that is just perfect. So all we need to do is the Amur leopard and the Japanese macaque. So we actually will not have that many issues with the European badger and uh, making sure that they will get some offspring in here. Everything looks really good regarding welfare. Now let's have a quick look right over. Oh yeah, that's right. I did hide <laughs> away the gate in here. <laughs> that is not like the most easiest thing uh, to, to click the habitat again, but we don't have to do it super often, I guess. So it's all right. Let's put this on grade three. So we have just a maximum amount of care for these cute little badgers. I'm going to call this a badger habitat. There you go. So now we, oh yes, that's right. I need to add a webcam in here because we did not set that one up. Oh, hello guests. We did not set that up just yet in this habitat. Where shall we put this? I feel like maybe just right over here in the middle of the habitat. I feel like, or like in the middle of the indoor habitat. So we're going to put this one right over here. It's not sticking out, right? No, it's not. Okay, I think this is this is a really nice spot for... Ooh! Oh, goodness. Okay. <laughs> Let's just rotate this. It's funny that it does that. So enter camera view. So when the guests are at home or the zoo is closed, they can look into this badger habitat from here. Oh, we have some more research here of the Amur Leopard. So let's quickly also check the marketing rating. It's only two and a half. I think we started at 2.1 in, in the previous episode or something like that when we started adding the webcams in here. Now we could actually add some more marketing in here if it's not like too expensive maybe just viral videos begin marketing let's just do that and now oh wow okay now we have five stars that's just amazing so now what i want to do is i want to change the entrance ticket price because oh goodness why are you running is that a skunk habitat again oh wait wait i can't click you <laughs> it's this drive skunk again. Okay, I really... Oh, I thought for a second that this was an escaped skunk. Okay, I really need to change the fencing right over here because this is causing a lot of issues. Um, yes, okay, we just go around here. And that's basically all we need to do because... Uh, can, can I just move that? I can just select this one. Put it right over here. This is all we need to do because these guests just walk into the habitat and for some reason they just start to escape all the time. Maybe if I set this on to three. No, three is too long. So two is what we should do. As long as these guests do not walk over this little barrier, then everything should be good and they should not be escaping anymore at least that is what i hope if i just ooh, can i put you right over here no i just want to move you to this little corner 
And then we should be able to connect you if I just move this one. There we go. Okay, this should help for our guests to not run away anymore when they walk into the skunk habitat. Yes, that is exactly what I wanted to do. So these guests are running away and uh, the ticket prices are underpriced. So maybe go for 15 and 13. So let's check these guests. The zoo ticket price is great. Awesome, we have that covered now. We have some animal alerts here. So we have Sally, which is very stressed right now. I'm so sorry about that. Can we just add a do not disturb? Oh wait, those are in the facilities tab. So if we just find the do not disturb signs and just add these guys into the ground, I think we should be good. Wait, oh, oh gosh, okay, stop walking that fast. <laughs> okay, we're gonna add these and I'm also just going to add one, I actually don't know the radius exactly. So let's quickly have a look right over here. It's in the security and crime. Do not disturb signs. Oh, this is definitely covering everything. So now the European badger should not be stressed anymore. If they go inside, there is one side of glass. So this should give them a lot of privacy already. Only when they are outside. Yeah, this 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 is causing maybe some issues here, but I feel like it's all right. They are able to get some privacy on the inside, so it's I think it's good. But yeah, I'm actually really happy with this area right over here when uh, when the guests can look into this little habitat from here. Actually, are we onto the camera view? Oh, I thought that I maybe had some stuff sticking through here, but it's actually really good. Oh, I'm proud of myself. Oh, you are going to fill that ball. That is going to be just perfectly fine then. So yeah, do let me know in the comments down below what you guys all think of the European Badger Habitat. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys on the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.